Dear friends, I am pleased to address you today for the anniversary of the European Festival Association. The association is now celebrating its 60th year, having been founded in 1952 by Denis de Rougemont, someone who means a lot to me because I was his student uh, in Geneva. And I know also that Denis de Rougemont was so committed to this project, like, by the way, the famous composer Igor Markevich. Today I would like to pay tribute to the artists, set designers, organizers and members who have built and developed your association over the past 60 years. Their dedication has resulted in a dynamic network, representing over 150 cultural festivals in 38 countries. By acting as an umbrella for cultural events in countries in Europe and indeed elsewhere, the European Festival Association is a shining example of Europe's openness to the world and to other cultures. As such, the association exemplifies the art of bringing people together and creating projects for the common good. This is the very spirit of the European Union. It involves the sense of belonging to the same community which goes beyond national confines towards a shared European future. A future which, like a festival, is rooted in uh, sharing values uh, and visions and inspiration. Those we have in common and those that form the identity of each nation. In the 21st century and its globalized world, I believe the art of living together is more and more pertinent and is a challenge to be pursued as much on a cultural level as on an economic level. Creating and fostering European cultural identity is essential to ensure that the European project is not viewed purely as an institutional or technocratic phenomenon in the eyes of Europeans. Europe can and Europe must come alive in the hearts and minds of Europeans. It must be understood, debated, by those who bring it to life every day. That is, by those that are studying, working, collaborating together in areas where frontiers between member states have been abolished. Sharing and exchanging is at the heart of each festival. Between different artists and artistic disciplines, between artists and audiences, and between different generations and different social backgrounds, this is the embodiment of the European motto, Unity in Diversity, which your association exemplifies so well. Finally, an anniversary is also an opportunity to take stock of the past in order to develop our ambitions for the future. If we wish to create a Europe of culture, and I'm very committed to that idea of a Europe of culture, that then there are a number of uh, challenges ahead. Through the Creative Europe programme, you can be assured of my personal commitment and the commitment of the European Commission to ensure that these ambitions are reflected at all levels of our action. I wish you all the best, I thank you for your work and I want to encourage you to keep that good work in favour of a strong Europe for culture. Thank you.